All right, YouTube subscribers, my name is Rayshawn, known as Ray Nizzo on Facebook, also known as Mr. Ceiling Fan Man 1999 on YouTube. Now, what I'll be doing, now what I'm gonna be doing is, then I'm gonna be showing you my um, Emerson Friction Drive Ceiling Fan that was manufactured on June 16th of 1981. Now these ceiling fans dates back to the late seventies to the early eighties, but this one is from eighty one. So um, before I get started doing the demonstration on the fan and stuff, now the light kit you see on the fan is not original, and uh, yeah, the light kit is not original to the fan, and uh, the mounting bracket up there is not original, and the ball socket is not original to the fan. And a variable speed knob, which is that little, uh, that ivory color knob is also not original. And a pool chain part is not original either. These are the original brackets for the fan. And as you can see, it only came with three out of four. And this is the double claw for the, uh, for the ceiling fan for when I mount this van onto the J hook because this is how they used to make them back back then and stuff like um but due to the fact that I don't have the proper mounting bracket for it so um I just got the ceiling fan mounted directly onto the ball socket but um uh, but I'm gonna eventually change the canopy out and convert it into a generic mounting and keep the brown canopy for a spare or something and um, as you can see, the blade brackets are not original to the fan. Those came off of a SMC DC42 Park Avenue 2 ceiling fan dated April of 1992. Because of the fan was in a bad shape and stuff, van. So I just went on and um, parted it out. And I made a mistake and lost the original variable speed knob to the fan. So um so I got this uh random variable speed knob on on the fan and stuff. The blue wire, which is the hot wire for the light kit, is not original to the fan. It didn't come with the blue wire from factory. So I had to run it down from the motor shaft. And it was a it was a little bit of a hassle running it down, so I had to take the fan all apart just to uh, run the wire down to the light kit. Since I saw that it was only a um a neutral wire for the a neutral wire, which is the well due to the fact that I saw this a neutral wire for the light kit inside the switch housing. Thank you. And the reason why I added this light kit onto the fan is because um, when my martial art instructor gave me this fan, it was missing the switch cap. So um, I ended up throwing this light kit onto the fan. The light kit, my martial art instructor also gave me this light kit and stuff. And by the way, this light kit is a, it's a genuine Emerson Universal Ceiling Fan light kit. And this light kit is dated November of 1980. And the earlier version for this light kit is that it has the light socket that looks exactly like a lamp socket. And I'll show you what I mean by that. As you can see, that this is the kind of socket that the lamp socket will use. And it got the pull chain on here. That's how they used to make the schoolhouse like it back then. And it still functions and and so um so you just got to feed the chain through this little thing and stuff. So that way I'll be able to pull it like how I was able to pull it. So 
I'm about to go on to demonstrate this thing starting off with the light. So here's what it looks like with the light on. And here's what it looks like with the light off. So I'm about to go on and uh, start off with this fan starting off with the minimum speed. But one thing about these friction drives fans is that they stall out very easy. Hold on. Okay, man. Let me see if it's going to stall out because these things really do stall out. But I don't know because um because um this is the very first um Emerson friction drive ceiling fan that I have in my collection. But um but I did see some brackets for this fan on eBay. And um Hopefully, if I get some money and stuff, I can order these brackets off of eBay and stuff. And I can, um, uh, and I can spray paint the brackets brown and stuff. But I did try messing around with the, um, try messing around with the knob and stuff so I can, um, adjust the low speed. By using the screwdriver and stuff, so I can um adjust the low speed on the low on the variable speed trim and stuff. But this thing looks like it's about to start stalling out and stuff. So uh, let me bump it up a little bit. Okay. Now this should be just about like a medium-ish speed right there. Okay, this is on medium now. Um. But it does have a but it does have a unique startup noise. And I'm surprised it's a little and I'm surprised it's a little bit noticeable for a friction drive ceiling fan. But it's putting out an okay amount of air and stuff. Well, due to the fact it's really cool outside in my neighborhood. So when I have this fan running, it's making my garage colder. But it's on medium and it does have a wobble to it though. But other than that, now I'm about to go on and bump it up to full blast. Okay, this is about full blast.
Now high speed it does wobble and stuff. It puts off some good air tone and stuff. But I really but I really don't know the RPMs on this thing and stuff, but um I believe that they usually don't calculate it um due to the fact it's a very speed ceiling fan and stuff, so so I'm controlling it from a variable speed control. But other than that, but um but it's really hard for me to explain what a friction drive fan is, but um but I'm gonna open up the motor housing as soon as I get done doing the demonstration on this fan. But um but this fan is non reversible. It's non reversible. And um and I forgot to mention that um that this pull chain came off of a Harbor Bridge Orca Coke ceiling fan that I spray paint that I spray painted black and chrome last year. Yeah in two thousand in two thousand seventeen and stuff. And then by the way, this but by the way, this fan is made out of plastic. And the only parts that's made out of metal is the I'm not gonna count the mounting bracket because the mounting bracket is not original to the fan. And the ball and, and I'm not gonna count the ball socket because the ball socket is not original to the fan either. Even though they both are made out of metal. But um and the light kit. I'm not gonna count the light kit because light is not original, even though the light is made out of metal. So these blade brackets are made out of metal. And then the motor, the motor is made out of metal. But other than that, I'm about to go in and uh, turn this fan off. So this is what a friction drive motor looks like. That it got this little, um, it got this rotor thing and stuff. And then, then it got that little rubber thing and stuff. And then the next thing is that the knob is supposed to, um, yeah, so, um, so this the this the fan, and the fan, and what this fan's job is supposed to do is that it's supposed to cool the motor housing off to keep the motor from burning up. So I'm about to show you what I mean. All right, the battery is about to die, so that's why the flash just turned off on me. So I'm about to go in and. Uh, Now this is how the motor functions without the blades. So that's just about it for the ceiling fan. Now this is Mr. Ceiling Fan Man 1999 signing off this video. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. More to come.